our channel with Pineapple and Kale and today we're here to do a pizza challenge face off. Today me and David are going head to head again and we're trying to make the best vegan pizza. I'm going to be making a spelt and hemp seed base. The key to this pizza is in the base. So on top of that we're just going to be putting some tomato sauce, we're going to be doing some asparagus, some tomato, some mushrooms, some sun-dried tomatoes, and when it's all cooked off and looking green, um, I'm gonna put on some fresh rocket and some toasted pine nuts. It's gonna be, it's gonna be lovely. Ream, yeah? Ream. So my pizza's different. My kind of key feature for my ingredient is vegan mozzarella. I am making vegan mozzarella today. Bear in mind it's not my recipe, but it is gonna be vegan mozzarella, handmade from scratch on a lovely, classic Italian, tomatoey, basil-y, pesto-y pizza. It's just, it's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be something that you're gonna wanna try at home, both of our recipes, and hopefully you like it. Hopefully they come out banging, and we're gonna see how it goes. And hopefully I'll win this time. Yeah. That'd be nice, <laughs> you know. We'll see. <laughs> There's one winner here, and it's probably me. So right now, I'm gonna make my tomato base for my pizza. Um, this isn't really following a recipe, this is kind of just what I would assume I'd want to taste in the base of pizza. So I'm just going to cut up the garlic. Um, I want you to know that my garlic cutting technique is actually decent. Okay. It went so much better when I practiced. Get that olive oil popping. Young. Oh, there was still water in there. Now ladies and gentlemen, what happens to oil when it's mixed with water? It's a hazard when it's hot. Oh, it makes a fire. Let me just let it cool down. Forfeit? <laughs> Never. So my garlic has cooked a bit and it's gone a bit brown. So I'm going to now throw in my... It smells lovely. You just love garlic, so of course it smells mm. good. I'm using oh. organic plum tomatoes. Obviously. You've got to keep it organic if you can, you know? Mm. I understand you can't always keep it organic, you know, it's... Not always that affordable, but when you can, it's worth it. Mm. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut up some fresh basil. Lovely, I'm loving the ingredients right now, Rach. Those classic Italian just ingredients, classic. right? So classic. There, bang. I think you'll feel What's it. this bit of thyme? Yeah. Oh, is that thyme? Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> oregano, yeah, I want some oregano in this. Mm. The colours. Black pepper. Mm -hmm. Put this up on a high heat. Yeah, let's, let's throw some more basil in this. Biatch! Like, that would just be a decent on a pasta. Right? I'd love that on a pasta. Delicious. Delicious. No, darling, darling. Fantastic. Oh, I know what I want to add. Cause I got a sweet tooth. Mm. Just a little piece of agave. What else? As I did mention, oh! <laughs> I'm making <laughs> vegan mozzarella, which is, let me shout out the genius behind the recipe. Thank you, thank you. Which I will link below. Vegedout.com, amazing recipes. I recommend you check it out because she made this awesome vegan mozzarella dish and I'm grateful to her or him, cause I'm not actually sure. So it uses a quarter cup of cashews, <laughs> so garlic, lemon. Mm. I don't have lemon, so what am I gonna do? Replace it with apple cider vinegar. I'm also gonna add nutritional yeast, because I can. I feel like you even love vinegar, like the smell of vinegar, or you absolutely hate it. One cup of hot water. Which we all know how I get that. Tapioca. So what's tapioca? I heard it's from maple to cassava. Cassava. That's it. Apparently it's got like a sweetness to it. Two tablespoons and one teaspoon. One, two. Mm -hmm. Olive oil. Let's blend. Let's blend, guys. No, not another accent. <laughs> no, you don't want to blend it. 
So what we got to do, guys, is if we just put it on the... I don't know if you've ever used a Vitamix, but it's quite explosive. Do you know what I mean? It goes a little bit crazy. So you've got to make sure the lid's all nice and secure. Do you know what I mean? Fantastic. Still going. Are we still going? Mate, this, this will go till I die. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Ask me what accent it is, and I couldn't tell you for the life of me. This looks like some heavy duty blender. It is. <laughs> it really is. It's like is. a lawnmower. It is. Are you ready for the. nutritional yeast because I totally forgot so as I showed you guys in my end of the day this is nutritional yeast I, I use because they add B12 I don't know how much I put in it was a little bit of a shimmy shake it's about rough nothing too explosive you know let's give it a give it a whirlwind it's like a science experiment just pouring out it smells good it smells a bit mozzarella it does doesn't it let's go ladies and gents just pour it in Oof. Got to heat up a bit. Hopefully the science experiment is an absolute success. Why? Because I'm gonna win. Watch, watch, watch. Get a view of this, mate. You can see it's thickening already. It's getting thicker by the second. Oh, I think this is it. It's kind of like blobby. Nice. Now I'm gonna construct my pizza. I, I'm not putting it on like David did, like like they do in the restaurant Let's decorate with our mozzarella. I'm just going for blobs. Oh, 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 oh. Then I'm just gonna throw on a few. I mean, there's already a lot of tomatoes, so it kind of seems stupid, but F word it. <laughs> and I am going to throw on some. Pesto. Yes. <laughs> hey, the hidden ingredient. And just the odd basil leaf. Let's see what happens. I hope magic happens. That's what I hope for both of us since we're both rookies. I hope just pure magic. My pizza is ready. Yes. Jeez! Expanded. Look at the belly on that. This is really therapeutic. Rachel doesn't have a rolling pin, so um, I'm using this whatever it is. What is this? A little I, baseball I, bat? Maybe. <laughs> I want to do it like fairly thin because I prefer... Thin? Yeah. What do you do like to... Make it a circle. <laughs> Learning curve. Look at my jeans as well. Oh, that was just the style. So Do you know what? Be careful. Yeah. Everything is just like on point in this house. Like even the knife, it's just got that weight. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do you know in Kill Bill when he gets the, the perfect samurai sword? It's taking like immense concentration right now. One, because I'm a perfectionist. Two, I'm just not trying to die by scratching Rachel's table. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. How long does your pizza take to cook? Eight to ten minutes, I think. Now fixing the crust to the base. One thing I would say with tomatoes is, is always go for the cherry vine ones, um, as opposed to like the loose ones, because they just mm, so fresh. Unlike Rachel, I am not making a sauce from scratch. Um, I bought some pizza topping sauce, um, which is pretty much the ingredients Rachel put in. But I feel like, seeing as I made the base, I'm entitled to a little cheat move, so. I agree. I'm trying to do it like they did in the restaurants, you know, they're like. 
So I'm going to do a cashew cheese, but it's going to be a bit different from Rachel. It's the same cheese that I use in like my lasagna. One cup of cashews. Of almond milk. Usually I put lemon juice in it, but Rachel can have no lemons. Your ingredients are up to yourself. <laughs> the basil. What is an Italian dish without basil? Have you got any paprika, Rich? Yeah, that looks alright. I'm gonna get the mushrooms. You do not do the asparagus first would probably be a good idea. I'm gonna do like long pieces. My pizza. That's dope though. How's that marshmallow? Yeah, it tastes really good. I like that. That's so nice. I like that a lot. Mm. I'm so happy. Mm. You feel like you have the cheese without the cheese? Mm. Yes. That's so good. Happy days. So, slight, um, you know, slight little mishap occurred. Um, my pizza. Where do I start? Where do I start, Rachel? I uh, missed out a key component on my pizza, which was pre-cooking the base. You have to, in fact, part cook it before you add the toppings. Um, obviously, I added the toppings, and when I went to get my pizza out, the base was not cooked. Um, so, unfortunately, I've had to abandon my pizza, which is just gutting, because it was going so well. I, I was destined for victory. Unfortunately, that if I left it in some more, the bait, the toppings would have just dried died. out. Just they died. would have just died, fizzled, Crisps. and just <laughs> R.I.P. Pour out some liquor. So I'm gonna be making my pizza later, but unfortunately, by de default, I have lost the challenge once again, which is tragic. You say by default, but I mean. Well, it wasn't really default, like you kind of made a mistake, which is fair enough, mm -hmm. but that's not really by default. I just feel like life happens sometimes. Yes, yeah, so you accidentally made a mistake, and so you lost. <laughs> Rachel's pizza was great, so, you know, at least she didn't make a dead pizza, because that wouldn't be up to live Thank with. Thank you, David. Um, I really appreciate that. I was really happy with my pizza. I think the cheese came out so good, and just the classic Italian ingredients, like just the tomatoes, the basil, and the garlic, was enough for it to be amazing. So I'm really glad how it came out. Um, try and make my pizza at home, because it's really delicious. You can pre-buy a base, and then just make the ingredients and put it on top. And also try David's one, because if it went well, I'm sure it actually would have been a really, really good pizza. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to our channel because we have new videos every Sunday and follow us on Instagram. Our Instagrams are linked in the description below along with the mozzarella cheese because I just want to highlight that again because it was banging. But um, thanks for watching. That tastes really nice actually. I'm really happy with that. Might have given Rachel some competition. And my mum really likes it. Uh, yeah, not chewy and melts in your mouth. And melts in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm well chuffed. Love him.